I have to say that this movie is a masterpiece of modern sci-fi. No, it's not. No, it's not. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Crap. You know, this review will have spoilers because I don't care. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to an all new talk in movies. As always, I am your host, the real Gino, Gino Reynolds, and today we're going to be talking about a movie that I I went to go see after I saw what is probably going to be one of the better movies this year uh, when I went to see Raya. Um, today we're going to be talking about Chaos Walking. Um, look, um, I wanted to like this movie. I, I really did. And by the way, as as the intro stated, there will be spoilers. Um, I wanted to like this movie. Look, I... I saw who was in it, and I'm like, okay, this movie's got a shot. Look, I love Tom Holland. I love Daisy Ridley. I love Damian Bashir. I love David Yellowo. I love Mads Mikkelsen. Uh, Cynthia Ervo. Um, <laughs> I like the cast a lot. Uh, Kurt Sutter, who I wasn't real familiar with. I really liked him in this. I liked a lot of the acting. I liked the people in it. I just... I hated the story uh, because, man, did it feel like a mess. And I think I know why. They took this story from a book series called Chaos Walking uh, that has, uh, well, three different books and then there's some short stories. Um, and I was looking at the descriptions. I've never read them, but I was looking at the descriptions and it sounds like they picked bits and pieces out of the three books and tried to cram it together into one movie. So this movie is when it comes to storytelling is a sloppy mess. And I think that's its biggest downfall. I think the ideas are all right. Uh, it does get a little predictable with some of the plot points. Um, you can figure out, you know, okay, this probably happened and it did. Uh, so look, before I go any further, here's the setup. Um, you have the, you have settlers on an alien world. Uh, there, this is not earth. Um, and they are, they're settlers that came on a ship before that they're, of course, earth is looking, earth is always looking for a new place to live because earth sucks. Um, so they're settlers there and our main character is Todd as we hear his name five million times because he keeps saying my name is Todd Hewitt my name is Todd Hewitt my name is Todd Hewitt in his brain when he's trying to hide what he's thinking because I'm getting to that apparently when they got to this world all of the men in on in, on the ship started developing powers to where you could hear they're each and every thought. Uh, some of them, you can just hear their thoughts. Some of them, uh, like Mads Mikkelsen's character, who's the mayor, uh, ends up being the mayor of this town that we start at, he can uh, control uh, when people can hear him. Uh, he can use uh, his mind to project images uh, to where you almost feel they're real. Uh, so he's very powerful with this power, but here's the thing. Only men got the power. No women did. When we start off, we're in this village where, uh, there is no women. And sooner or later, uh, a, sh uh, uh, a capsule crashes and it had a crew aboard, but all of the crew died except for one character, uh, Viola, which is Daisy Ridley's character. And they crashed because the men on the, in the capsule started freaking out because they started getting these powers and they didn't know what was going on. And they freaked out and they crashed and died. So Mads Mikkelsen's mayor character, uh, he knows about uh, Viola and he wants to capture her for unknown reasons, which I will get into because, again, spoilers, because I don't care. Um, but it ends up Todd, Tom, Tom uh, Holland's character, 
uh, he tries to save her because, well, first he thinks she's pretty. And boy, do they tease that a lot. <laughs> they, they, they tease a romance so hard in this. And it never happens. <laughs> um, anyway, he feels it's the right thing to do and he kind of likes her. So uh, he escapes with her and then Mads Mikkelsen and crew pursue. Um, and of course, come to find out, even though they believe it, a lot of the people believe it, they are not the only people... Uh, they're not the only people in, on this planet. There's other, uh, other settlers as well in different places. <clears throat> so Viola is trying to find a place where she can contact her ship. Uh, Tom Holland's character is trying to help her and Mads Mikkelsen's character, uh, come to find out he wants, to, he wants her to call the ship so he can take over the ship and use it to rule the world. And then, if that's not enough going on, that, that would be enough of a plot of in itself, but also there's an alien race uh, on this planet, or technically, they'd be the natives, as the movie points out. That actually comes into one reason why I hated this movie. Uh, or maybe I should say I just really disliked this movie. I don't know if I hated it, because uh, there were things I was liking, and I wanted it to work. But there are these native aliens, creatures, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they, I don't know, I can't really describe it. They kind of look like uh, like onyx-colored versions of the aliens from Signs, maybe, is a good way to explain them. Um, they're just kind of tall and lanky and bent over, and uh, they're really strong. Um they're called the Spackle, and or at least that's what our characters call them. Um, and they're there too. And boy, are they such a minor part of this movie. You you only get an encounter with one. Uh, they're have said to have they're they're the ones the, the the mayor said they're the ones that killed all the women um, in in the village. Uh, of course, we come to find out they didn't. Um, and we come to find out, it's like, they keep making comments, uh, you know, Daisy Ridley's character keeps saying, well, they're the natives, we're the aliens. Um, again, that comes into play later. Um, so there, there's that plot as well, and then the one time we run across one, it only fights because it's defending itself. So, because Tom Holland's character has kill, 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 literally in his mind. Um, and... <laughs> And so they make a play like these these natives are gonna matter, and they don't even matter. They don't even matter. Uh, okay, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, you also have a dog, and the dog is very likable, even though you can't believe that this dog uh, helped them survive much because uh, it's a little lap dog. And it barks all the time. And how it didn't get them caught more because it barked all the time. Uh, I don't know. But anyway. Okay, look. I like the actors in this movie. And I... There is there could be a good movie here if they would have covered all three books. Even though, again, I don't know the books. But it sounds like uh, they get the spackle more involved. Uh, they don't get to the end destination after the first book, it takes all three books. In, in this one, you know, they discover there's other towns. They discover a crash ship. They're able to contact the other ship. Just so much happens and so much is going on. And the implications of the ending are terrible. Um, the, the idea of these uh, some of these people being more powerful, they tease that Tom Holland's character. I know I'm jumping all over the place here. They tease that Tom Holland's character is one that could be more powerful. And you do see a moment where he is. Uh, and that could have been something they built up over more movies. Again, I don't know if I would have loved this one after, you know, for three movies. But, I don't know, maybe it would have been a cool show instead. Um, covering all the stories. But again, it felt like they were just cramming too much in uh, into this. And I, I want to bring up the dog again. It's just, it's like... Uh, 
it's like I Am Legend, uh, where probably the dog's one of your favorite characters, and of course, if you, you've seen I Am Legend, you know what happens there. Well, it happens to our main character, too. Um, the way he feels after something happens to the dog. Um, God, I wanted to like it because I like the people in it. Um, just, I felt like the being able to read the minds thing, you know, the, the thoughts coming out thing was a little too convenient because there's times where, you know, our main character is able to shut his mind off, even though they never show that he's good at it before. And maybe you're just like emotions taking over or something, why he's able to do it, but I don't know, but there is one time where it's kind of funny where, you know, he's imagining him and Daisy Ridley's character kissing and it's all in his mind and she's just sitting there watching it, horrified. Um, so there is some decent moments in this movie, but the ending especially just killed it for me. Uh, because here's the implications. They make this whole speech about how the Spackle are the natives of this world and it's, you know, we're the invaders, we're the aliens, and there's no, and unless they were talking about making another one, I don't know, I doubt it. Um, if, you know, would the story continue where they make peace with them or would there be a war with them? Um, from what I could tell, you know, you need some of these characters in all three stories and that just isn't the case with this because some of them don't last. Um, you had some decent ideas like, uh, David Yellowo's character was the preacher and it, he's basically someone who, unlike being in control of the powers like Mads Mikkelsen's character, uh, he's gone crazy and it's all biblical for him. So, you know, he's just like, you're going to burn in the fire and his thoughts are just like making it look like he's on fire and stuff. And so there were some decent ideas here, but it's just... Uh, it, oh, and like Mads Mikkelsen's character, his mayor, you find out that uh, he's not allowing the people to learn how to read because if they did, they would find out some of the truths, you know, so there's kind of a whole, you know, like cult feeling to like his town. And so there's some good stuff. There's some good stuff in this, but the end implications is they're able to bring the ship down and then this group is going to settle on this world whether the natives like it or not daisy ridley's character wants to leave the whole time and all of a sudden it's like this where i'm getting used to this world there was no implication she was getting used to this world yeah she might be starting to have feelings for tom holland even though she uh you know c blocks him at the end she's like i'm still not going to kiss you um, but, but she's all of a sudden, she's like, I like this world now. It's like, you do because you can hear every thought in the man's head. And, oh, and then the implications of there's all these settlement tents down there at the end. Like, I think it was like 4,000 people on this ship, right? And they're going to settle on this world that they're just going to take from the natives who, again, we only saw defend themselves and of course, they weren't behind the killing of the women. You could probably figure out who was behind the killing of the women by what I've been talking about. Heck, you can pretty much guess at the first of the movie. I'm just like, oh yeah, I know that. That's This is what happened. I, I, I know. And sure enough, I'm right. Um, But uh, yeah, the implications are there's all these people here. So this is a chance of, I don't know how many are men, how many are women, but even we'll say half and half. So say there's 2,000 men, 2,000 women. Are all 2,000 of these men going to be okay with this new power? Or are there going to be some crazies like there was with the first group and Mads Mikkelsen's character and David Yellow's character? They don't even stress on it. It's like, oh yeah, we're just going to settle here. Dun, 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 the movie's over. I thought maybe they would tease more, but they probably knew that this one probably isn't going to go anywhere uh, in the theaters anyway. They should have made it a TV series. I think if they would have made it a miniseries or a TV series for a couple seasons, two, three seasons, maybe even four seasons. You could probably stretch three books in the four seasons. 
you know, shorter seasons on something like 10 episodes a season. You could have had a good story here, I think. I think you really could. But then again, I think what they had to cut out of three books probably hampered them big time. And this movie's just a mess. And I cannot recommend it one bit. And I hate saying that because I love a lot of the people in this movie. And you'll like some of the performances. But the implications and the overall story are just sloppy. And again, the ending implications of, well... Everything's just fine and we're going to settle on this world when all the men's heads should be exploding right now. You know, they don't even address it. It's like, I think we're going to be okay. And that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, I was pretty frustrated with this one and I can't, I can't recommend it. Uh, and nor can my inner thoughts. You don't need my inner thoughts during this review because you're getting every bit of it. Um... <laughs> It's it's not good, and I hate saying it. I really did, because I love sci-fi, man. I love a good sci-fi movie, and though this one had some decent ideas, it's a sloppy, sloppy mess, and I, I, I'm i telling you, I wouldn't even say rent it. And look, some people may love this movie and may think, well, you're just not smart enough uh, to like this movie, to understand this movie, and I understood it perfectly fine. I understood it. It's a sloppy mess. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't recommend it. If you love it, great. Let me know if you've read the books in the comments. I'd be really curious to see if you've seen this movie or what you'd you'd be expecting in this movie if you uh, had read the books. I'm really curious to hear about that. So if you've read them, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. But anyway, I can't recommend it. And that it, it just hurts me to say that. it. I wouldn't say this is going to be one of the worst movies this year. I think it'd be one of them let down movies this year um where with the cast you have and some of the ideas it could have been great but the the execution is is just terrible and yeah i don't recommend it that's going to be all for this edition of talking movies if you like what you've heard here please subscribe to the real gino youtube channel like this video if you have anything to say about chaos walking again if you've read the books especially i would really be curious uh, to what you have to say if you've seen this movie or are wanting to see this movie because you love the books. Uh, but please feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Until next time, I am your host, the real Gino, Gino Reynolds. See you later. Bye.